Hello, today's video is all about my period cramps, the cause behind them, and how I finally figured out what was causing these cramps for the last year and a half. Nothing, whatever I tried, nothing was helping. So I believe that this could help so many of you who are going through period cramps. And also if you've been trying menstrual cups with no success and they keep leaking, this video might also provide answers for you. So let's get started. So never really had proper menstrual cramps until December 2016. Sure, I had some mild cramps here and there, but I guess that's normal for every single girl. But there was nothing major that would stop me from living my life. But in December 2016, everything changed and I couldn't work out why. I couldn't survive without painkillers anymore. And you know what I, what I think about conventional medication, but I just couldn't... I couldn't survive without the painkillers every single month and I hated it. And it really felt like going through labor contractions every single month. I'd never been in labor, but I read in many comments that bad period cramps actually feel very, very similar to labor cramps. Also, I had no physical cause for my cramps, so no endometriosis, no cysts in the ovaries, no fibroids, nothing to explain all this pain. And my periods actually got lighter and got back to normal during this period of time, yet the pain didn't budge. It didn't even get better at all. And now, after all the suffering, I finally found a cause. And it's something surprisingly simple. I can't believe it took me so long to finally realize it. So basically around that time, I started using menstrual cup consistently, pretty much every single cycle. And that's when everything started going totally wrong for me. I got my first menstrual cup around seven years ago and it was a moon cup. It's a UK brand and I tried it for a few times and I kept having troubles with it. It kept leaking, it kept feeling uncomfortable. It kept slightly, slowly sliding out during my cycle and it was just a nightmare. So I never really used it consistently. I tried it a few times, it didn't work out, so I just abandoned it. And then around September 2016, so two or three months before my serious pain started, I got determined to make the menstrual cup work. And so I started using it every single cycle, all the time, throughout the whole period. And gradually my pain started building up and felt like it started with this tension, like huge tension in my pelvis, and then it would morph into a huge throbbing pain within a couple of days. And then it would stay for two or three days afterwards, and it was really uncomfortable. I was basically stuck in my bed, taking painkillers, and really struggling to survive during those two or three days every single month, and it wasn't fun. Also, during this whole time of my trials, I kept having the same issues. The cup kept leaking during my heaviest days and the cup wasn't even overfilling, it wasn't even full. It was maybe 20-30% full, yet it was leaking. No matter what I did, <clears throat> no matter how many videos I watched, no, many, no matter how many forum entries I read about all the tips, nothing was working. And then around December 2016, the month when my serious troubles with pain started, I decided to buy a Diva Cup, thinking that maybe a different brand would make a whole difference for me and it would stop leaking and would become comfortable. But I actually made a really bad choice because the Diva Cup is actually the longest menstrual cup on the market. It's even bigger than the Moon Cup. So, of course, it made all the troubles even worse. It was leaking in the same way, but I also started having more and more uh, pain and pressure. So the cup continued feeling worse and worse until a few months ago I finally got the intuition telling me that I should just stop using the cup for a few months. I wasn't totally sure that the cup was behind the pain and everything but I just felt this urge to to try to live without it for a couple of months probably because it just felt too uncomfortable you know it was so painful to put it in to take it out everything felt raw and irritated and inflamed and sore and I just didn't want to use it anymore. So I ditched it for a couple of months and the first cycle afterwards was so much easier. There was much less pain, much less bleeding. And then the second one after that was even better because for the first time since December 2016, so basically almost after a year and a half, for the first time I didn't need any painkillers at all throughout the whole period and the pain was still there, but it was bearable, I could function, I didn't have to stay in bed the whole time, and for me it was life-changing. 
I realized that finally I found the cause for all this pain. Because the truth is, no matter what I tried, I tried all kinds of natural remedies for for period pains, including um, all kinds of herbs and magnesium, and nothing changed anything at all for me. And then the cycle afterwards, I decided to go back to using my menstrual cup, and guess what? The pain came back with a vengeance, and everything was exactly the same as before. So it's clear now that the menstrual cup was really behind everything and the reason why is because I have a low cervix. A cervix that naturally sits quite low but during my period it migrates even lower to around four to five centimeters from the entrance. So most cups are made to fit people with at least seven to eight centimeters because there should be at least two centimeters between the top of the cup and the cervix. Because I only had between four and five centimeters, obviously what happened with me was that the cup, the rim of the cup, was actually pressing on my cervix, rubbing on it, inflaming it, uh, causing loads of damage, and basically the cervix was getting really swollen, really big, and because of that it was moving even lower and causing even more pain, even more symptoms, even more uncomfortable feelings and tension down there. There are actually a couple of brands on the market that make menstrual cups, especially for women with low cervix. So for example, there is a Femi cup, I believe it's called. And I Googled it, I read the reviews and personally I wouldn't try it because some reviews were saying that it was kind of getting um, suctioned to the cervix and it was causing even more damage and it was pulling the cervix down. So I am not going to try that for sure. But then there's another brand, a German brand called Meluna and they make a version of a cup called Shorty and it's for women with low cervix and it's smaller so it doesn't collect as much blood as the regular ones but you can choose different softnesses and different colors and I think that that could actually work for me but the problem is that I am so afraid at this point I don't want to try anything else I really want my cervix to really recover from all this abuse for at least four or five months. So I'm not going to buy anything new for now, but just to let you know, if you have a low cervix, Maluna should be great. And it's also very, very affordable compared to most of the other brands. So for now, I'm just going to stick to my reusable um, cloth pads, which are great, by the way. I really love them. They're not as convenient as as a cup, of course, but it's definitely the next best thing for me, so I'll just stick to that. If you've tried the cups and they keep leaking, no matter what, no matter you've tried, it's very likely that you have either a low cervix or an inverted cervix, which is basically not in the right position. Also, if your cup keeps moving and, and sliding downwards and outwards while you're wearing it, it's also very likely that it's because your cervix is low. The same thing can apply to tampons. If your tampons keep sliding out, and that used to happen to me so much and I had no clue why, it's also because your cervix is probably sitting low. And finally, if you've tried everything, all kinds of natural remedies and nothing works, plus if you have no physical reasons for this pain, then I would definitely suggest ditching any kind of tampons or cups for a few months just to see if it makes a difference, because I bet it will, like it did for me. So do you use menstrual cups or tampons? Do you have any kind of issues that I talked about in this video, like cleaking or sliding out? Do you have period pain? Let's discuss. And thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one.